Why buy a TDS meter will actually save you money? Is testing the water of your plants really important? Is that worth the cost of a TDS? Long story short, yes, it's important. And yes, it will save you money. If you want more information, let's dive in. Hi, my name is Remy, and on this channel, I explain you everything I know about how to grow nippon tests on a windowsill. So if you're new, consider subscribing. This month, I dropped my TDS meter in a bucket of water by accident. Uh, it's okay, it was five years old, so it's not brand new, and uh, I already uh, get um, the money back out of this TDS meter. So I decided to buy a new one, and then I thought, oh, there is a lot of beginners that actually don't have any TDS meter. They don't test their water. So maybe they don't know why they should buy a TDS meter. So I decided to do a video about that. So the first reason for me would be to test all your waters. Keep in mind that you have access to plenty of water around you. Uh, there is people that will use only tap water on their plants. Some will only buy uh, reverse osmosis water, uh, distilled water. Some people like me will use only rainwater or melted snow. Uh, but uh, you have to test your water. Keep in mind that Nepal test usually will accept 100, 150 ppm uh, particle per million. So that's why the TDS is important to test. The spring water that you will put for your plants will be costly and that may just poison the plants. It's, there is no way too many minerals in it. Uh, at the opposite, reverse osmosis water is really poor in minerals. Uh, that could slow down the plants, actually. So that's maybe something you want to consider. And again, the price, for example, if I do the math, the price of a bottle of four liter of distilled water uh, it's zero ppm. If your tap water is uh, 130 ppm and you mix the two together, that's going to be 65 ppm. So you will, for the price of four liter of reverse osmosis water, you will be able to have eight liter. And with the cost of four liter of regular tap water, that's almost no cost. So uh, again, you will be able to save a lot of money. That's why this TDS meter will save you money. The second reason why you should have a TDS meter is to mix your fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. Usually they will give you on the box seven drop in a, a gallon, and that's going to be good for uh, the, the fertilizer. Uh, you know, for Nippon test, you really want to make sure the fertilizer will be gentle and soft. So I would not go more than 200 ppm for this fertilizer. So you have to test it. And again, these fertilizers are designed for orchids. Uh, and most of the time, even for orchids, they will be kind of a strong. So you want to maybe make sure you are not giving it too much. And fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, once a week maximum. Go easy on that. Uh, less fertilizer is better. Too much will poison the plant. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, we'll do some tests now. Uh, that's my old uh, TDS. It's uh, the, <laughs> the one that fall in the water. So as you see, it's a CE, uh, Community European. So that's the old one. And then the new one. So TDS, different color, we don't care. Looks good. So uh, again, nothing really complex here. You just uh, open it. Put that into water and that's it. Okay, let's see the the thing that tests the water. I don't know the name. Anyway, we will see what uh, I can uh, give you as uh, info about the water now. Okay, so this is my regular tap water. Uh, a year ago it was 133 and we'll see. Oh, 43. So uh, again, uh, test your water. Uh, it's not a lot, plus 10 ppm, but uh, um, it's always good to know where you are at. And now we'll see with my uh, reverse osmosis, the device is old, so it's not pure pure, but still 6 ppm, so almost totally pure. So I will take a cup now. So if we mix 
the two together now. Guess what kind of numbers we will have. So you mix them properly and then we will see 72. So that's not bad. It's clearly good for um, Nepenthes, for example. Okay, so now let's talk about the fertilizer. I bought this one because uh, Maxi was hard to find um, because of the <laughs> last event. Uh, because it comes from the US, it was sold in uh, Canada. So this one is almost the same. Uh, so orchid fertilizer, etc. So they talk about these seven drops, but um, I will just show you how I do that. I don't care about the drops. I will just again test my water, my reverse osmosis, it's six. Then I will add, shake it first to make sure you have everything. And then you add few drops, these uh, green uh, drops, two, three. Okay, let's see. And you mix it obviously, right? So with three drops, it's 88 around, 85. Okay, 85. So we still have a way to go. Uh, I will just aim for less than 200. Let's see, we are at four drops now. And I have no idea how many water I had here. 125, it's good. I could go higher than that. So maybe I will uh, do one last drop. Okay, so it's five drops. Okay, 145, that's good. Uh, so again, uh, the TDS uh, will help you to know exactly what you give to your plants and uh, may help. Oh, by the way, I know my reverse osmosis device is getting older uh, because again, I'm able to test the water using the TDS. So again, another way you will use this TDS. You will know when your device is failing. And finally, the third reason why you should buy a TDS is because the TDS cost almost nothing. That's something like $20. I mean, most of the plants I have cost more than $20. So if the TDS allow me to keep something like at least two plants alive, it's worth it, right? Paying $20 to save a hundred bucks plant, it's common sense, do the math. It will save you a lot of plants. So just sometimes saving this $20, I don't see why you would. So again, it's really up to you. I will uh, put on the description two links of, uh, so they are affiliate marketing. So if you buy, I will get a few cents out of it. And it support the channel, obviously. Um, I will put two links. Uh, the first one will be the TDS I bought. Uh, and the second one was the one I hesitated because it's waterproof. So I thought I would, this time avoid dropping the TDS inside the bucket of water, but uh, maybe you don't want to take any risk and uh, you prefer having something that is totally waterproof. So you will use it for even more time. Do you use a TDS for testing your water and you mixing your fertilizer? Uh, I would be interested to know uh, if you don't, why you don't have this TDS. And uh, yeah, until next time, happy growing.